good afternoon guys how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is the last speaking first of all i want to share with you also as always the results of the copier service uh, you can see here the results of the past week and they are quite impressive what we are doing right now is maintaining a system where I can reduce the losses to the maximum and increase the losses, the profits to the maximum as well. And therefore, we can see a very good results. And these are the results from my MetaTrader where I'm copying myself. Now, allow me to show you uh, the copier results from one of the volunteers. He sent me this video and I wanted to share with you his uh, copier results as well. So we started from 24th April until last uh, 12th may and we can see total there is a profit of 728 dollars out of account of 1000 dollars and these are the trades i find them actually very good results uh, you can see there are some losses but they are small compared to the profit which is really good the way i'm using uh, this system is we can see that from the candle movement that the market is really going against us and we have to close the candle right now we don't use a stop loss because as i told you many times using stop loss is your way to lose actually your trades so thank him for this effort to make this video for me and again guys uh, this service should be alive in very short time i'm expecting le less than two months we will have the copier service running and available for everyone and in the next video I will announce more about the details about joining the service and how much it will be all of that will be i think in the next video <clears throat> so regarding the weekly analysis let's go now to the topic uh let me just first compare the last week uh, analysis with what happened this week so regarding the euro usd i predicted that the pair will actually reverse on this resistance and go a little bit more down hitting this support level and it will actually continue to go more up so let's see what happened actually on the market what happened is indeed almost the uh, same what i predicted uh, the market uh, opened on this level here exactly on this support level so it was already on the support when it opened on monday and we can see it actually bouncing for the whole week until finally it continued to go more up so it bounced as I predicted from this support and it went up to hit this resistance. So later we will discuss the EURUSD and what we are going to do about this pair. Uh, GPPUSD, however, it was not really right prediction. Uh, was I thought it will uh, bounce on this resistance and make uh, just a pullback and continue to go more up. Unfortunately, what happened is not right like that not not like that we can see this resistance was actually quite hard to be breaking from and the market when it went to retest this level after the breakout uh, the retest failed unfortunately and the market indeed has went down exactly on this resistance it continued to go more down after failing to break out from this resistance uh, going on the AUD USD uh, AUD USD, however, I predicted, I predicted that the pair will uh, bounce on this support and it will go up to all the way to this resistance. Well, the market has indeed moved this way, but not all the way to the resistance. It just actually still bouncing on the same level. We can see it, it opened right here and then it went up to the same level of, this, of the support. So you can say somehow it moved up as predicted, but again went down and again bounce on this support and it broke from this support but again bouncing on the lower support level on this uh, lower low and now it's bouncing back so we can see that AUD USD is actually quite much ranging on the support zone here so if we have the support zone here uh, now AUD USD is ranging on it and later we will discuss what we're gonna do about this pair for this coming week It's not going all right uh usd cad the usd cad i believe it went as predicted right yes the usd cad uh, sorry usd cad i said that this pair is gonna go a little bit more up on this resistance level 
and then it's good for sell and it will keep going all the way to hit this support and perhaps for this support as well so what happened next is actually it went all the way it was ranging a little bit uh, we can see the market opened I believe it was here the market opening and it went up a little bit to the, on the resistance level here before actually continue to go more down almost or actually indeed it hit the same level of the support in the end so it was a frustrating trade for whoever have uh, sold on this resistance uh, but in the end it went in the, in the uh, desired, uh, desired uh, direction sorry for that and we were gonna see later what, we, what we're gonna do about this uh, pair uh, USDGPY moved however exactly as predicted I said on daily candles that the market will go down to hit this strong support level so this is exactly how the market has moved actually <coughs> sorry we can see it now uh, the opening was here but eventually it just went down all the way hitting the support level and we will see later what we're gonna do about the USD JPY NZD USD however it was a uh, failure unfortunately which is normal so this support was actually quite strong because I thought oh sorry it was not strong I thought it, the market will uh, go up actually no NZD USD was not that big failure let me tell you uh, I thought that the market will go up a little bit to hit this resistance level before actually start falling more down well however NZD USD has already bounced on this uh, resistance level we can see it actually reversed here so I thought that the market will go up to create another attempt on this resistance however the market indeed uh, just continue to fall more down after bouncing on this resistance level so this resistance here was actually quite strong and the market did not even make another attempt on this level so it went down immediately uh, last one is NZ, uh, sorry USDCHF USDCHF was beautifully accurate I said that the Euro USD, uh, sorry, USD CHF will go a little bit more down, hitting this resistance, and then it will start falling more down. And that is exactly what happened on the pair. We can see it actually was not able at all to break from this resistance. And here it is. It just went up a little bit and then it fall down until hitting this previous resistance. So now we will discuss about the USD CHF and what are we gonna do about it for this week so now let's go back and start checking the pairs starting from the euro usd all right so where is the metatrader for okay here it is so now we are on the euro usd uh, this is the daily chart for the euro usd and what we are seeing here is actually a strong support zone like that so what happened here let me bring this one here all right so what happened is we had here a strong support and the market you can see made a strong bounces on the support and there was here a bearish breakout but eventually this this breakout was a fake breakout and the market just went up here and again uh, it is now above this support level and again it is now bouncing and we can draw a trend line here if we do a trend line we can see that the market has actually closed above this uh, trend line level here so following the breakout candle strategy what we can do is we have to wait for the market to actually uh, break this level I believe what I believe is since we have here also a support right here uh, I'm expecting that the market will actually uh, start to go a little bit down you can actually start uh, buying the euro usd at this level and it will go all the way up until hitting this resistance and then from this point it should actually continue to go more down so what i believe is that the euro usd uh, let me just tell you to be accurate euro usd is good to buy on 1.1263 and then it is gonna you're gonna close your trade when it hit the resistance 
on 1.13033 and from this point euro usd should actually be good for sell and you can start shorting euro usd all the way until this support on 1.100 uh, sorry 11235 so that was my prediction for the euro usd now let's move to the gpp usd and see what happening for this coming week now uh, gpp usd we can see this strong here let me just zoom in on daily candles we can see this strong uh, bullish uh, candle or bullish breakout candle so actually the gpp usd is kind of a, uh, a bullish momentum but i don't think it will keep it for a long time let me explain the reason we can see here there is a strong resistance zone actually right here let me just be accurate and show you right here oh sorry this is uh dangle right here exactly so we can see that the gbp usd is facing a really strong resistance zone on this level so we cannot ignore this support level as well so i believe that gbp usd will be good for buy especially when we see this the reverse hammer this one my favorite candle we can see that it appeared here so i believe that the gbp usd will actually bounce on this support level and it will continue to go more up before actually start falling more down so your best shot in my opinion to start longing uh, the gbp usd is uh, i think at the opening of the market immediately and you can keep your position you can keep your uh, buy until this level hold on i'm just trying to erase this one uh, yeah okay so let's see uh, just want to be accurate as much as possible yes no hold on like that yes all right so gbp usd is good for long uh for almost 100 pips and i believe if you want to start shorting the uh, gbp usd it will be your best shot on 100 on 1.31011 and from this point you can start shorting the gpp usd and i believe it will keep going all the way uh, to this support level here that was my prediction for the gpp usd so let's now move on to the aud usd all right so AUD USD, AUD USD is now actually ranging on this uh, strong support. We can see it here, like uh, like that. So what I believe, since we can see that the market has closed on this reverse timer, which is, is which is uh, everyone knows, I think my favorite price action, the market will actually move a little bit more up. Actually, it is good option. It's good, it's good idea to start uh, long the AUD USD and if i want to see where is it going to reverse actually and to go more down uh, yes if you want to start buying the AUD USD, now is the good time i believe it it might actually be ranging on this level remember this support is really strong it has been bouncing on this support for quite long time uh, let me tell you guys AUD USD is uh, really uh, expected to be ranging for the whole week i believe it will be ranging for the whole week for the whole week i don't know why but eventually i think it has to go more up until hitting this resistance level here and here as well and then it will start to fall more down but that i think will happen by next week since we are analyzing on daily candles i don't believe this resistance level will be reached by this week for now i believe it is good idea to start buying the aud usd and it's your best shot if you don't want to miss uh, so many pips maybe you can wait for the pair to come down a little bit hitting this support level exactly here uh, let me tell you to be accurate uh, let's say if you don't want to miss so many pips yeah that is just uh, 13 pips only 
uh, on 0 0.69768 is actually might be good to start buying the AUD USD and if you want to be safe as well you can exit your trade at 0 0.70818 so we can look for about 112 pips or sorry 107 pips that is if you want to have a safe trade as much as possible so all in all AUD USD will be going a little bit more up but from this point let's say that the market has reached this point early this week if this happened if this happened just wait for it a little bit and actually let me just be more flexible yes make it right here yes from this point is better so you can start shorting the AUD USD if it went up all the way reaching this resistance then start selling here okay so this is your buy at this point and you can start selling at this point and you can exit your trade once the market hit this uh, support level but again I don't think this is happening this week I believe it will be on the next week so let's move now to the USD CAD now let's see the USD CAD USD CAD is showing actually a strong rejection on this level here on the resistance so this resistance here we can see that the market was not uh, not actually able to break through this resistance but still I believe it will break it and it will make some movement and now if we check the weekly chart we can see that there is a strong uh, bullish momentum on the USD CAD and we can see there is a lot of rejection here with these two candles if we look at these two candles the last two candles for the last two weeks both of them closed as twins both of these candles closed exactly the same with long wicks at their top at their bottom and small body that indicating a ranging market here and since we can see on the left here let me just show you keep your eyes here guys where the mouse is look at this guys here we have a strong support level and right now the market is on this on, is on this support level I believe sorry for that it might go a little bit more down but eventually it will go actually up all the way to hit this resistance level Rem now remember I'm on the weekly chart that is too much so my advice for you is to wait for the USD CAD to actually hit this support level here right here and then from this point we can start to actually long or buy the USD CAD I don't believe it will break from this resistance since uh, this trend line here is uh, strong and the market has been following this trend line for uh, weeks so far and then we can actually start buying when the market hit the support level we can start buying and it will continue to go more up until hitting this resistance level so again um, USD CAD is good for buy on 1.32964 and you can keep your trade running until uh, 1.36300 okay uh, let's go to the USD GPY USD GPY as predicted has bounced on the support level so this level was quite strong sorry now I believe the USD GPY is really easy to predict I believe it will uh, because here we have a price action indicating a bullish momentum or a bullish reversal uh, AUD USD will continue to go more up until hitting uh, this resistance here uh, let me draw it and right here so USD GPY is expected to go up here and on this resistance I believe it will uh, continue to fall more down until hitting this support level so you if you want to start buying the USD GPY don't do it immediately wait for the market to come a little bit more down on the same line here on one, uh, 109.644 then from here you can buy and then uh, close your position on this resistance and from here right from here you can start selling the USD GPY and I believe it will continue to fall more down until hitting this support level.
yeah i believe this is what will gonna happen and let's wait let's wait and see i believe because uh, i'm analyzing on daily candles the market might take the whole week to reach this point here at this resistance so we might actually start selling the usd gpy only by next week after hitting this uh, resistance level now the last will be usdc shift and i don't really want to do any nzd usd analysis i don't like this pair at all uh let's see for the usd chf now it's actually falling down from the support but we cannot ignore that here we have a strong level that was a resistance and also it was a support and even here it was a resistance so i think usd chf let me be accurate here hold on i want to be more accurate uh yes yes i believe here and usdchf is uh, kind of tricky right now what i think is this level here on 100 or uh, 1.00332 uh, will be good actually to buy the USDC chef. I think the pair will continue to fall more down until hitting this previous resistance and a support as well. So this level was somehow acting as a strong support and therefore I believe the market will actually go more up here. So uh, this level here is good option for buy. And you can keep your position until it hit this previous resistance on 1.01950 uh, uh, USD CHF is really tricky right now and I recommend you to avoid it if you want to have safe trades uh, Euro USD and USD CAD and AUD USD I believe they have uh, the best uh, obvious shots but however that is what my prediction for the USD CHF also for this week so guys uh, I'm sorry for the long video it is only a weekly analysis but it is really long I'm really sorry about that so I just hope that it was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.